Hello there, this is the full video tutorial on how I made my own oscilloscope without using a computer. The first step will be flashing the firmware. For this, we need two applications, Scopy and HDroid. We need an OTG cable, USB cable, and the Raspberry Pi Pico itself. Now, before plugging the Raspberry Pi Pico, we need to make sure that our OTG is open in the settings. What we're going to do is, we're going to hold this boot cell button right here when we plug it in in the cell phone. Now, I'm going to hold it and plug it in. Now, we're going to open the Edge Droid app. Click this, then select Scopy. Select Raspberry Pi, OK, flash the firmware, and click flash image. The LED should blink just like that. Now we're going to open the Scopy app to try if it is working. And that works. We're going to short the GPIO 26 and 22 to test it. We should see a square wave just like that. For the assembly, we're going to put this in an electronic enclosure to use it further. This is the full schematic of this project. You can check it. And this is the simpler one if you don't want the automatic voltage switching. And that is done. For the testing, before testing, we're going to change the voltage ranges to be accurate. Go to settings, voltage ranges, and change the default to negative 1.65 to positive 1.65. These voltage ranges will differ depends on the resistor tolerance so you can calibrate your own but you can copy mine if you want. And for the testing, I'm going to measure this crystal oscillator here in an MP3 player board. This oscillator runs at 32.7 something kilohertz. So let's see if it can measure it. And as you can see, 
it can. That's 32.7 kilohertz. And we can even check the output of this transformer right here to check the output waveform. Our li line voltage here is 60 Hz. So le let's see if it is correct. And that is 60 Hz. Pretty good. And let's see how this diode affects the circuit. As you can see, this is how a half-wave rectifier works in a circuit. It blocks the negative half cycle of the waveform. As you can see, this will be very good for audio technicians because it has a 200 kHz bandwidth. Thank you.